Okay, we're going to update the machine. So the first thing we need to do is, I'm going to turn it on and show you down here when it comes on, it tells you what version. So this is 2.11 and what we, it lasts like two seconds so you just get a blink. What we need to do now is to go into the set menu. We need to be in ordinary sewing which is the second tab with the red line underneath go to the second page no. needle position okay let's go here So we need to go to the set menu, which is here, and then it says we go into the red tab, which is ordinary sewing, and scroll down, foot height, foot pressure, variable zigzag, the startup speed, favourite stitch adjustment, we need to delete any favourite stitches adjustments that we've made, so I'm going to hit that. It says return all adjusted stitch settings to default. So I'm going to say OK. And that's done. So I'm just going to go out of there, turn the machine off, pop in my USB stick. Now it says you can use either port, one or two. And now I need to hold down my needle up needle down button and my locking stitch at the same time and turn it on. So I'm going to hold those in and turn the machine on. And you get the yellow screen so what it's saying here is don't turn it off, don't take the stick out and this screen will slowly change. Now I don't know how long it's going to take. Um, it says in the instructions if the machine, if this screen turns red, then there's been a problem with the transfer. So at the moment it's reading the information, so the color has changed and it's going to slide down and turn blue. It says on page 8, if it goes to red, then you've got a problem. So this is going to work its way all the way down and then it will most likely just say it's finished. And then we'll see what's new. So it may take a few minutes, we'll just watch. Remember you have to um, swap out the shank for your machine and the P-foot. Once this is done, um, don't make that mistake of um, leaving those feet in your collection.
Looks like we're halfway there. Interesting, it's got the green and red light. Yeah, mm. yeah, that's because it's. Almost there, just one little bit to go. So it's changed colour, now it's coming through in another blue, turquoisey colour. This one's much quicker. finished. So now we turn the machine off, take the stick out, turn it back on again, fingers crossed we should have version 3 come up here. Yay! Oh my god. Okay, so Let's go to the home screen and see what's different. Now I know one of the things straight away that's different is we now have this new tab here which allows us to bring things in to a point at the end. Obviously uh, tapering, so you can obviously taper all these stitches that it's showing here. So you see now we've got a point on the end of this. You can taper this off so it ends. So there's three different pages of stitching and they all taper. Obviously here you can set... Oh, this is a locking stitch on that end. 
and our locking stitch on that end and then we can plus or minus the taper obviously by degree so we could make it 30 and you can see now this is showing as just a sideways one where's the 60 it's coming down into the center you could turn it off um, obviously we can set the length and the number of designs, the number of repeats. So that goes 10. Let me just see how many. Well, you could just keep going. There's um a stitch count here, so obviously you could just put in the number of receipt, um, repeats. Let's put in 50. Oh, it worked, so... Let's have um, three. And we're back to being short again. So I'll have a little bit of a play around with some of the features here and um, I'll get back to you as soon as we've got some more information. Bye for now.